Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup haul. Um, I mentioned some of these products in my last video, but time kind of ran over and I didn't want it to be like an hour long video. So I broke it up into two parts. So I kind of explained some of these products already, but I want to kind of reiterate and go over them and show you the rest of the products that I got. So recently um, I have been to DragCon and to a beauty show in Philadelphia. So DragCon was in New York and the show, um, it was a beauty show in Philadelphia for like licensed professionals and stuff like that. So um, that's where I purchased all these products. So some of these products I have on right now, some of them I'm gonna show you swatches of and all of that fun stuff. So if you want to see all of the goodies that I have purchased, keep on watching. All right, so let's start first with DragCon. So all the makeup that I have purchased at DragCon was from a bunch of different brands. Um, a lot of indie brands are there and they have booths along with like, obviously you meet the drag queens. Well, some of them have their own cosmetic lines like the queens do. And then they have, like I said, some indie brands that are there as well. And then some bigger brands. So. This is pretty much a mix of all of the DragCon stuff I got. There are some other things I'm going to show you that did not fit in the bag. Um, if you know anything about drag, everything's very exaggerated. Everything's very over the top. So obviously they have to have makeup that is very over the top as well. So these I'm very, very, very excited about. And I want to get really creative one of these days and do something like very drag inspired because these lashes shut up i haven't even opened them yet to look at them so we'll dive in and open them up right now but they're from unicornskincosmetics.com so you can find them these are handmade paper lashes so these are what some of the queens wear oh my god they're so dramatic i didn't even realize it was this big when i bought them okay so these are the lashes so that's what they would look like on your eyes i know right so wild these are gonna be really fun for like halloween for playing around but these are like handmade and they are they're paper the paper makes sense because it's a very structured lash um these were 35 dollars for a pair I know a little pricey, but they said you can get up to 200 wears out of these. They are plant-based, fragrance-free, biodegradable, cruelty-free, recyclable, and vegan. So um, if you want to check them out on Instagram, they are Unicorn Skin Cosmetics. If you're into like that costumey drag type of makeup, definitely check them out. A lot of this is glitter, guys, so just strap in. This next one is from, how do you even say this? E-L-E-K-T-R-A -E Cosmetics. I can't really pronounce it. You guys know I'm terrible with names. Um, so this is the shade Midas Touch. This is a, this is wild, an aloe-based glitter that you can put on your body and on your face. You can literally put it anywhere. So it has this spatula that it comes with. And then you just brush it on and it is, it's aloe based. So it's like a liquid going on. This is so pretty, oh my God. I could see people wearing this to festivals. Again, if you do that really dramatic drag, costume, um, theatrical makeup, this, something you might want to look into. I forget how much it was. I believe it was only like $21 with tax or something like that. Super, super inexpensive um, compared to how much you get. You don't need a ton of it. And it comes with, I don't know, it doesn't say. Oh, it's $20. Bolt Bomb is a long lasting luxe glitter highlight for high volume accents on the face serious sparkle in the hair and extreme body coverage it's 15 milliliters and yeah it is it's the real deal the next company that i bought from is called g4e beauty now um i got two of the galaxy of glitters and i got one of their loose highlights these were very inexpensive i believe they were about 10 each and if you know anything about glitter like the Anastasia ones, I think are like $18, $20. So 
these to me looked just as good as the Anastasia ones and they were half the price. So that's why I picked up a couple. And the first shade, if I can even get it out of the box, I fell in love with this from the second that I saw it. It's like this rose gold pink, bright pink color. So pretty. And that's just a little bit. Now I did spill it all over myself. So that's just a, a small swatch of what I picked up. It was all over my desk. Um, but yeah, it is gorgeous. And then the next one that I got is called ET. I'm gonna kind of show it to you before I open it up. It's greenish blue, kind of like gives you the vibes of like what my jacket looks like. Glitter is always one of those things where you don't want it to go everywhere and it always ends up going everywhere. <laughs> so I just got a little bit out to swatch to show you. It's like this deep, green blue color so pretty and the highlights are not highlights the um glitters are very like light they're not very grainy so it's really nice to like pack on the lid um put it in your inner corner and you don't get that chunky look because sometimes glitters can appear chunky this is not the case with these that's the reason that i kind of gravitated towards these because best believe there were a lot a lot of things for sale there, um, especially glitter because I mean, it's fucking drag con, like that's what the queens live for. But these are the ones that really stood out to me. We already did it. So that's the highlight that I got. This is the loose highlight that I have on right now. It is obviously very pretty, but kind of has this like gold undertone to it. It's a white, but it's not like a stark white, like a glazed donut white. It has more of that gold undertones. And this is called Moon Dust. This is what I used in the last video when I placed this highlight on. I know I'm using the same makeup for two videos, but I don't care, I'm sorry. I really think it's pretty. It kind of gives me those Artist Couture, um, Anastasia vibes. I want to say Artist Couture more because you know Anastasia kind of copied that loose highlight, but it gives the payoff of the of the Artist Couture. Um, obviously it's an indie brand, so it's a little less expensive. So if you're looking for something like the Artist Couture highlight, but you don't want to spend that money, I would definitely check out G4 Beauty. Let me see if they have a website on here. Yeah, so it's www.g4, the, the letter 4, ebeauty.com, and that's the same um, that you can find them on Instagram. All right, so some of you guys know what Sugar Pill Cosmetics is already. I don't need to kind of go over that. Um, the reason that I really like them is they do a lot of stuff with the queens. Um, so this palette that I had purchased last year at DragCon, Oh Honey, and I made that Instagram video, and I might have used this even on my channel. This is the Trixie Mattel Sugar Pill collaboration that happened a year ago. This is currently discontinued, but um, they came out with a lipstick, which I also got. It was like in a whole little kit that they had at DragCon. Along with this, I have some other Sugar Pill Cosmetics products, and I love them. They are, the reason that I really like them is it's very creative in the products that they come up with. Bright colors. This is, I think, one of the most neutral palettes I've ever seen Sugar Pill create, um, which is funny because it's a drag queen that made it. But the lipstick that Trixie came out with is like a bright, bright pink. Um, so she does a lot, the owner of Sugar Pill does a lot with the queens. And this year, they didn't have any other collaborations with any other drag queens. So I just stuck to like their main products when I purchased them. So the eyeshadows are phenomenal. Like I said, they are very creative with their color range. Um, not a ton of neutrals, just very like basic transition shades. And um, the pigment and payoff is insane, you guys. Price-wise, it's not that bad either. Let me see if there's any pricing on here because I can't remember what I spent. No, they don't have pricing on this sheet, but it is definitely worth the money. So this shade that I bought is, it's a pan eyeshadow and this is called Kimchi. I'm sure if you are familiar with um, drag queens and RuPaul that you would know Kimchi is a drag queen that was on Drag Race. 
Now, this is a pretty big pan size. It's 0.3 grams of product. I'm just gonna press it a little bit and you can see that the payoff on that is so good. And I only went in with a little bit. I didn't even go in and like press on it. So if you, if you go in with a brush, you're gonna get a lot more payout than just that. And then the other one was butter cupcake. And this is the brightest yellow I've ever seen. There, I feel like with finding like a yellow eyeshadow, it's hard sometimes because sometimes they look like they're gonna be really bright and then you blend them out and they're not. And it's just like a light yellow, whereas I want a neon yellow. Like if I'm using yellow, I'm using yellow. If you're looking to build your own palette um, and you wanna kinda get into more creative shadows, I definitely recommend going with the Sugar Pill um, singles. I love, you guys know I love Anastasia shadows. I love Morphe, like the Jaclyn Hill palette all the ones that they've recently come out with, but there's something about these that it's just such a unique range of shadows that they have that I would just say, check it out if you're looking to build into getting more colors in your, in your collection. I highly recommend them. And then I went with one of their liquid lipsticks. I have a couple of them. The only liquid lipsticks I have from them are super bright. So I figured I might as well get something a little more tame. Their packaging's really cute. Looks like Jeffree Star, it looks like Dose of Colors. It, it kind of gives me those vibes, but I don't know. It's still very, very cute. And this is in the shade Dainty. And the applicator is bomb. Look at that. Get that and then the payoff is really really nice so I'm really excited to wear this and see how the formula wears throughout the day um, with something a little more neutral because the colors that I've used I only really use them for like makeup looks and then I kind of take my makeup off afterwards because nobody's gonna wear a bright blue lipstick to brunch on a Sunday afternoon so the name Trixie Mattel may ring a bell to a couple of you I had the opportunity of meeting her at DragCon and it was an unbelievable experience. She is so kind, so sweet. And the thing with DragCon is you have to, you buy your tickets and then you have to spend money at the Queen's booths, buying merch to actually get a meet and greet, which totally makes sense. That's how they make their money. The conference center and RuPaul makes their coin from the actual ticket sales. I did a little bit of damage at um, Trixie's booth, which is fine. <laughs> but some of the cosmetic products that I bought are from her own cosmetic line um, outside of what she did with Sugar Pill, which I think is so cool that she has her own line. And this one is Pony Up. And Pony Up is a glitter. I love the packaging because it's so Mattel, Barbie doll, everything about it, just like little, how cute. Now this is body and hair glitter. It's called Pony Up because it's little ponies and unicorns. Hold on, let me show you. So it looks silver and then it kind of transitions into pink. You see that? Those are the little pieces of glitter that are shaped like little ponies. Oh God. Shaped like little ponies and unicorns and they're so freaking cute. So I got this one just because I don't think I'll use it very often, but I don't have anything like it. So I purchased this because although I might not use it a lot, there may be some use for it eventually. I thought it was so cute, very unique. Um, I forget what the price range on the glitters are, but I figured it'd be really cool to try out sometime. And then this is one of the glitters that sold out. Um, oh, wow, that's cool. They give you like a little cap to, to be able to, um, shake it out of the container. I love the packaging. This looks like a little diamond. You see that inside the packaging? And this is called Lemon Bar. Again, a face, oh, this is a face glitter. The other one's a face and body glitter. God. Okay, again, again, this is a yellow. So this would look, oh my God, I got so much. I got so much. I'm gonna be wasting all of this just making the video. Um. This is so pretty, look at that yellow. Those two together, I can just see it now. I wanna just look like a little ball of sunshine with these. 
If you want to find any of these products to buy for yourself, you can find them on Instagram at Trixie Cosmetics, T-R-I-X-I-E is how you spell Trixie. And yeah, I would definitely recommend checking these out and I cannot wait to play with them. The next company I am so excited to talk about. Um, this is a local company for me. Uh, I forget exactly where they're located out of. I want to say it's like 20, 30, 40 minutes from where I am in Pennsylvania, but this is a Pennsylvania brand based company. Um, they're called Rebellious Unicorn Cosmetics and they have spray glitters. So the things that I can do with these are endless. I got every single color and you guys, for six bottles of spray glitter, each holding, okay, well, I don't know exactly how much is in each because I cannot find it on here, but I would say like four ounces maybe, four ounces. $25, you guys, and they all smell so good. And you literally just spray them on your body. You can do them on your face, your arms. That's where I sprayed it on when I was at Dry Con. I'm literally going to be covered in glitter, but that's fine. So you kind of just rub it in. You can kind of see the glitter in there. Yeah, I know you see it. It's obviously very, very wet because I just sprayed it directly onto the palm of my hand. Um, but yes, you can kind of see the glitter in there so pretty oh my god okay and the blue the blue i'm obsessed with i'm really excited to play with the golds this one was champagne that i just sprayed on me i would describe it as kind of blue green with a little bit of gold it looks more green in the bottle but like how that reflects is how it reflects on the body as well i just rinsed my hand to kind of get more um products to be able to go on here and you can see that the eyeshadows and the lipstick stayed on my hand from me running it underwater so that's a good sign the owner is so kind um she was there at her booth obviously and we got to talking and that's how i found out that this is like a pennsylvania based company she's so sweet we follow each other on instagram now um so i would definitely just like recommend going to check check them out it benefits me in no way but i would love for this brand to blow up it being a local somewhat local brand and having amazing products at such an affordable price if you're looking to kind of get into the glitter world and stock up on a bunch i would highly recommend rebellious unicorn products all right so we are done with drag con now on to the products that i purchased at the beauty show and now it is not that many products but i still want to show you guys so first off i went to morphe because they have morphe there and i got myself two of the setting sprays one for myself and one for my trunk love 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 this product if you have not already tried it i'm sure you might have heard me talk about it at some point obsessed because it sprays such a fine mist of product that it never leaves like you know when you spray a bottle and then you kind of get that like wet look because it leaves spots you never get that because it's such a fine mist and the product is actually called morphe continuous setting mist and not spray because it doesn't really like spray you it like miss your face it's like aerosol um but yeah love that and then i got a couple different brushes um only one of them was for myself i got the morphe e17 for myself and the let me just throw them everywhere the morphe m224 and m321 for my kit i love these this one i have like four of i use it to carve out the brows place product on the lid um when i go to like sit down the primer sometimes i'll go in and tweak like clean up under their lips along that lip line um clean up along their eyes with this brush it's amazing and then this is just a really good like buffer blending brush for under the eyes now, when I was in New York and I got all that Morphe stuff, I contemplated getting this. And then when they told me my total was about $200, I said, 
Okay, let's put some things back. And this is one of the things I put back and then decided to pick up this past weekend. And that is the Morphe Gel Liner. And this is in the shade Vitamin C and I, oh, C, S, E, A, not like, that's cute because it's blue. Clever. So this is just a pot liner. The reason I like it is because I haven't really found a blue like this. It's that really rich, deep blue, the complete opposite of this blue. It's a very deep, rich blue. And I'm really excited to play with that because if this is good, I wanna buy their black. Um, I don't know why I didn't buy black and then the colors, but sometimes colors are a little more forgiving. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to play with that and then you guys know how that works for me. The next products are all lip products, one of each, one of their lipsticks, like the legit lipsticks, lip glosses and mattes. The actual lipstick is Bare All. That's the one that I get. I always say actual lipstick, but they're mega matte, super matte lipstick. And this is really pretty because this is like a Jaclyn Hill nude. This is what I think of when I think of like what Jaclyn Hill wears. These are some of my personal favorite nudes as well because it's not too pink. It's not too brown. Sometimes, you know, if you put on one that's like too brown, then you're like, I look like I might be almost dead. Um, if you put on one that's too pink, you're like, I look like a sickly Barbie. Uh, terrible descriptions, but this is a really good like middleman. And again, that was called Bare All. If the shade's too light for you, I would recommend using a darker lip liner and then going in with this, it will give you a really good coverage, kind of gradient look. The next product is the liquid lipstick in the shade Virgin. I actually have this on right now. I love this. I have some of the Morphe liquid lipsticks in my makeup kit as well. I don't know what it is. They're so inexpensive. And personally, I think that they're really, really nice quality, like for what you're paying. Every time I've worn them, I've gotten a really good wear. I haven't really had to touch them up. Besides when I eat, I have to kind of go in here if it's um, a brighter color or a deeper shade. Nudes, you can kind of get away with a little bit sometimes. Um, I have used these in photo shoots on um, different people like Harmony and other clients. I use them on and I've gotten good feedback from them that they wear really well. So that's good to know if you guys are looking into buying any of them. And then the last one is Flower Crown. This is the lip gloss. I saw this and I was like, oh, perfection. Again, this would be phenomenal to top on that bare all shade onto that. It's a little more orange, but there's something about it that I love that it's just so neutral and nude for a light complexion like mine. And sometimes it's hard to find nudes for my shade, um, but yeah, I love that. I haven't worn any of their lip glosses yet, I don't think. I think I have one, but I haven't worn it yet, so I'm excited to see how that wears. And then I went to Ardell and got some lashes. Now, um, if you missed my last video, then this is all new information to you. If you saw my last video, then this is not new information to you. I did show these off in the last one. Um, this is the shade, the shade, this is the style that I have on right now, the 810 Faux Mink Lashes. I think they're really pretty. Um, they're not too over the top for mink. Sometimes when I wear a mink lash, I get a little scared. Like I'll put it on and I'm like, when I look at myself, because although lashes can never be too much, clearly from buying these, Sometimes you just want something a little dramatic, but not too dramatic. And I think these are really good at doing that. And again, that's the 810 Foam Mink. The other Foam Mink ones that I got are the 812 and 853. This is definitely gonna be more dramatic for you. And this is gonna be a little less subtle. Um, and this is gonna be a little more subtle. Again, this is a 3D, so there's different layers to this. So it'll obviously be a little more dramatic, but 
They had these lashes on sale, six for 20, so I could not pass that up. Um, and the other ones that I got, I'm really, really excited. Like I said in my last video, so excited to try these because when there's days that I just wear like concealer, contour, brows, mascara to work, sometimes the mascara, I want it to pump it up a little bit and I want to wear a false lash, but sometimes it doesn't look right with what I'm like the lack of makeup that I'm wearing. Sometimes the lashes are too much. So I wanted to find like a really good natural lash. And I think these 420 natural lashes are perfect for what I've been looking for all this time. I also got 422. These are going to be one step up from these, but I got two pairs of these to try out because I figured I'm going to love them and I wanted to have an extra pair. So I definitely check those out. I had this stigma with Ardell lashes for a while where I was like, oh my God, they're so cheap. They look cheap. Some do. And I'm just being honest, some of them do look a little cheap, but I think the ones that I have tried, the ones that I have purchased, I really like, which leads me to showing you the Demi Wispies. Most people know what these are. This is a pack of five that I have in my kit. So I figured I might as well just buy it when I was there. Um, the Demi Wispies are perfect for somebody that wants a little more than a natural, but they don't want it to be too much. This is a really thin band. So it's going to give you a really natural look. These lashes that I have on as well are a really thin band, which is why I like them because I don't have to wear a liner with this and it kind of blends in with my eyes. Um, yeah, so I really, really recommend these if you're trying to build your kit and you want to get lashes that are good and not crazy expensive. All right, you guys, that is it for this haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions. Um, if you missed any of the brands that I mentioned, I'll mention those down below in the description box. If you have not already, please hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. That helps me get discovered as I'm trying to dive back into the whole YouTube game. If you have not already, also follow me on Instagram. I have all of that information down below as well for you guys to check out. And I think that is about it. So I will see you all in the next video. Bye everyone. I have to be. We're gonna have to go.